Okay, we're talking about relaxation of arteriolar smooth muscle. So let's talk about hydralazine. So starting with a clinical case. A 56-year-old obese woman with a past medical history significant for hypertension, diabetes, and chronic renal failure presents to your office complaining of a facial rash and joint pain. On physical examination, you observe that the patient has flushing off her cheeks with a distinct butterfly rash over her face. Her blood pressure is stable at 125 over 80, but her heart rate is elevated to 110 beats per minute. She has diffuse arthralgias, arthralgias joint pain. On review of her medical li medication list, you see that she is on multiple drugs to treat her hypertension, including an antihypertensive medication that was started just six months ago. Laboratory studies are significant for the presence of an antihistone of antihistone antibodies. You begin to suspect that this patient's symptoms are being caused by this new antihypertensive medication and you reassure her that her symptoms should resolve with the discontinuation of this drug. So this drug is hydralazine. So the mechanism of action hydralazine has been shown to cause direct re, uh, relaxation of arterial or smooth muscle, thereby decreasing blood pressure. The mechanism by which hydralazine acts is not completely understood, although some researchers believe that hydralazine blocks the release of calcium from the sarcoplasmic reticulum in vascular smooth muscle, hereby leading to the inhibition of vascular smooth muscle contraction. Used to treat hypertension as well as in the treatment of heart failure which reduces the afterload. Side effects, headache, reflex, tachycardia, which may provoke angina in patients with coronary artery disease, GI upset drug-induced lupus. Remember, you can get drug-induced lupus from hydralazine and fluid retention, edema. Other things, minoxidil is an antihypertensive agent that directly dilates arterial smooth muscle muscle and opens uh, the potassium channels in smooth muscle membranes. But this can result in uh, hair growth. Uh, so this is used to as an antihypertensive to treat refractory hypertension. One of the major side effects of minoxidil is the hair growth. So it has since been marked as a product, marketed as a product, Rogaine that promotes hair growth when used topically. But basically, when we're thinking about this relaxation of arterial smooth muscle, we think of hydralazine, uh, basically, and for hypertension and for treatment of heart failure. Reflex tachycardia is a side effect, and also drug-induced lupus as well as GI upset, and the other uh, basic side effects you might uh, expect from this uh, relaxation of arterial smooth muscle. Okay, thank you very much.